Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Check this out. This is just a sample of some of the fantastic work that you will see for the fifth annual Art in the Berg. Ann Manning is the president of the Cedarburg High School Fine Arts Boosters. She is joined by students and co-presidents of the CHS Art Club. We have Grace Robleski and Gabby Johnson. They're here to tell us more about Art in the Berg. Great to see all of you ladies. Great to see you. Thanks so much for being here. So let's talk a little bit about the types of artists and who's participating in this show. Sure. We have over over 80 just outstanding artists in a wide variety of mediums. So we have um, people who have lots of jewelry, we have the um, drawings, the uh, different fabric, wearable art, metals, um, just a, a great variety of different types. Beautiful. We're looking at that stone birdhouse. I think that mm. is adorable. And, it is. and it's it's for use too, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. That is super great. Yep. Um, what do you think makes this event special? Yeah, I think what makes it really unique is that we have such great quality artists. We have a combination where we feature student artists, but then we also have um, artists that have to go through a selection process, so they're high quality. Um, we have some music uh, and we have great food, so it's just an, a great way to spend the day. Are the artists all local? Are they in the state or some of them come from the outside also? Yeah, good question. Um, actually, they're a lot from southeastern Wisconsin, but then we have Chicago, Minnesota, Oshkosh, uh, Fox Valley, so all over. It's great. What's yep. your role in it, ladies? Well, we actually help with the student volunteering. So um, a lot of students just come and help us run kind of the event. Um, and then the fabric pieces, our art club actually designed those. Oh, wonderful. So this is an example right here, right? Yeah, and okay. actually I designed that one. Oh, that's beautiful. So that's fabric in there. Yeah, it's that's um, gorgeous. all recycled fabric <laughs> okay. on canvas. And then um, also we do have a student exhibit. Mm -hmm. So we see student work in the department that's not for sale, but um, you kind of get to see what our students are doing. Mm -hmm. I would think pricing art, um, especially student art that's fantastic like that would be kind of tricky. It's, it's hard. It really is. I bet. So what do you like being a part of the event? What, what makes it special to you? Um, I just like how it's a community thing and how a whole community is coming together to really celebrate art and really appreciate it. It's wonderful. How do, how do the students benefit from this event? Oh, that's a good question. So the Fine Arts Boosters is a nonprofit organization, so all the proceeds from this go in the form of grants, scholarships, camp scholarships, college scholarships to the students. It's wonderful. Yep. I think it's so important, uh, especially now that I have kids, to support the arts mm. because I think there's a dramatic difference um, when you know that kids, that that's part of their their education, their upbringing, because a lot of kids enjoy it. It's such a wonderful form of self-expression. It's so true. And the thing about FAB, the Fine Arts Boosters, is we support art, music, band, and drama. So, so it's, it's not just the type of art we see here. It's exactly. all those different forms yep. of art, which is yep. wonderful. Um, so this is happening March 11th. So mm -hmm. this is next week, not this week or this weekend, but it's right. happening on March 11th from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. right at your field house. So it's in the gym at Cedarburg mm -hmm. High School, which is wonderful. March 11th, yes. again, from 10 until 4. Admission is just $4 to see all this wonderful art on display there. Um, 80 artists with jewelry, glass, garden art, painting, pottery, ceramics, photography, metal, and a whole lot of other things. You can find out more by visiting the website that you see there on your screen. And again, it's called Art in the Berg. Thanks right. so much, you guys. Thank really appreciate you. it.